In this question, we've got person X pushing person Y on a swing. The length of the swing is 3 meters. Calculate the frequency at which, at which a person X must push the swing in order to make it oscillate with the largest amplitude. So basically, we want it to resonate. So firstly, let's work out the natural frequency of the swing. And we can use that, find that using this equation here for the time period. So if we put the length of the swing, which is 3 meters, divided by the gravitational field strength, we get a time period of 3.47 seconds. And if we do one over the time period, we can get the frequency. And 0 0.23 hertz is the natural frequency. So what we want is the driving frequency to equal the natural frequency so that it resonates and you get the largest amplitude oscillations. So we want to match that, so 0 0.23 hertz for the driving frequency at which you're pushing uh, the swing. In this example, we've got a car which is traveling down a long road with many speed bumps. The speed bumps are 12 meters apart. The suspension of the car uh, has an effective spring constant of 65,000 newton per meter, and the total mass of the car and passengers is 820 kilograms. Explain why the car starts oscillating violently at a certain speed. So when the car is pushed, it's going to oscillate at its natural frequency, and we can find that by using the time period for a mass spring system. So the mass of the car and the effective spring constant is used here, and we've got 0 0.7057 seconds as the time period at which the car oscillates naturally. Now, if it hits the speed bump at that same time period, it, the speed bumps will apply a periodic force to the car. And so that's the driving frequency, the, how often the car hits the speed bumps per second. So if it hits at a certain speed, and it, then it will hit the speed bumps at zero every 0 0.7057 seconds, the car is going to oscillate with the large amplitude because it's going to resonate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find use the speed equation here, constant speed equation. I'm going to put the distance of 12 meters. I'm going to make the car hit those 12 meters uh, speed bumps every 0 0.7057 seconds. So that's the speed of 17 meters per second. So it was slower than that, and the car will shake only a bit. If it was faster than this, again, the car won't shake too much. But at 17 meters per second, the natural frequency equals the driving frequency of the applied force by speed bumps, and we get a resonance and large amplitude oscillations. So here I've got a set of springs which is attached to a mass and a vibration generator, and I'm going to apply a, a periodic force to the mass at different frequencies. And if I plot the amplitude, I get a graph like this. And as you can see here, the large amplitude oscillations are occurring at 30 Hz, showing that the resonance is occurring at 30 Hz. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join a disk like this to that mass. This disk has a large surface area, so it's going to have a lot of air resistance acting on it. So this is going to add some damping to the system. And I'm going to read this experiment. I'm going to look at how the amplitude changes at different frequencies. If I plot that, I get a graph like this. So as you can see, at every single point, the amplitude is smaller. It's less. It doesn't. Uh, the resonance is not as noticeable. And if I increase the disk size even more to get even more damping, larger damping and larger resistive force, and I plot this graph, again, you can see the amplitude decreases at every frequency. And the peak is more broader, and so the effect of resonance is less noticeable. 